Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my finished your theme by All Living Two Months update. So there is still two more months to go on through this project, but I thought I would give you guys an update today. In the last update, I had finished two um, items completely. They were um, one of which I don't have anymore with me because for some weird reason I think I tossed it. But the other item was actually decluttered as, and as I previously mentioned in some other videos, when I'm decluttering an item, I'm considering it as done because it's moving out of my collection. The item that I had decluttered was the mascara that was in this project, which was the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. The other item that I had also finished in the last update was my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye um, little deluxe eye sample that was done in the first month of this project. Since that last update, I managed to finish completely up two, uh, three items. I'm going to show you what they were. First up, one item that I surprisingly finished is my Calgan Take Me Away Hawaiian Ginger Ultra Moisturizing Body Wash. In when I started the project, I was at that top mark right there. In the last of it, I was there, and now it is completely cleared up. I really did not like this product at all, so I really was forcing myself to use it, and I used a lot of it in each and every shower that I was taking in order to use as much of it up as I could. I think that normally would have, it would have taken me longer to use this if I used it on like a regular amount, but since I wanted it out, I actually really like abused it in the last month and managed to completely finish. I'm super happy about this because this was really, really stripping. The smell of it was really, really nice, but I hated how my skin felt afterwards. Like my whole body felt tight and tense and I hated that. So I'm super happy that I finished that. Um, the other, another item that I finished in the last update, I didn't have any markings on because it was completely full at the last update. I hadn't yet used it. It's my little Tarte Tarte Guard 30, SPF 30 um, moisturizing um, sunscreen. This I used on my face for the whole time. Um, it took me a while though to realize how much I hated it. It really felt, well, the feeling of it, like it smelled like sunscreen. It felt a little bit like sunscreen, but not as greasy, which I could d deal with on my face. It's a little bit greasier than I usually put on my face as sunscreen, but what I hated about it was really the white cast that it left. It took me a while to realize why I was looking so pale like every day, and it was that actual product and once I was done with it, my, fa my face went back to normal. And my coworkers were always telling me like, oh, you look so pale today and everything, and that was actually that product that was making me look pale, it really gave a white cast. So I am happy that this is done and out of my collection, and I will definitely not purchase it again. The packaging is super cute, but the product itself is really a no-no for me. The last item that I finished up completely in the last uh, month was this little perfume. This is the Escada in the Era perfume. When I started the project, this bottle was completely full, brand new, never used. In the uh, last update, I was at that marking right there, and I started using more and more as much as I could in order to use it up, and I finished it up completely in the last month. So this is like the third item that I got done in the last month and my fifth item for this project overall. So, I'm now going to show you guys the other items I still have running. I have a few that have some progress to show, but most of them have no progress either because the packaging won't let us see the progress or because there is really just no progress to see on that. Go, go. Enough. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna start with the ones that I do see a little, that I have some progress on, and I'm gonna go into the ones I don't know or can't tell if I have progress on. I have one item that is missing, and it's one that I cannot tell the progress on. It's uh, my lip gloss by Maybelline, the Elixir lip gloss, and I think it's blushing essence or something like that. Um, I have it at work, I forgot it there yesterday, and I still wanted to film this update, so I don't have it with me currently. Um, one item that I have a lot of progress on is that little pencil by Smashbox in the color Onyx. 
this is how much I have left of this little pencil. Honestly, like that bottom part right here, like up to my finger, is like the stopper of the pencil. So the actual pencil is just that much left there. Um, I've sharpened it two or three times during the last month. I definitely think that this one will be done in the next update, which would be awesome. It would be one more product out. But this one is done, is not, not done as of right now, but has really, really good progress. Um, I've been actually enjoying wearing like um, a little bit of black eyeliner on like as a um, on top of my lash line. I've been enjoying that in the last few weeks, so it's been I've been really using it. The other product that has a nice chunk of product progress is my Midnight Recovery Concentrate Prim Kills. Um, when I started the project, I was at that marking right there. There was no progress in the last FD because I hadn't really used it. And now I'm at that marking right there. So there's like one finger like this of progress on the product. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it in the next month because there, it looks like there's like two and a half fingers more to go. And since I used like one finger in the last update in the last month, I'm guessing that I won't be able to finish it up completely, but I'm still making some progress on it, which I'm happy about. This is not my favorite face oil ever. I really prefer the Josie Maron one over this one. So that's why I'm working on that one to actually finish it up. Then I'm gonna quickly show you the rest of the items in the project. Um, because the, as I mentioned, there is really no progress to see on them. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit about why there's no progress to see on them. And then afterwards, I'm going to pick the three new items that I'm going to add in. Okay, so first up, I have my gold bar eyeshadow right here. Um, there's a little bit of a dip going on in it because I've used it a bit this month. But I'm not anywhere close to hitting pan on it. And I am not going to force myself to use it too, too much in this project because I really don't love it all that much. Um, like, I don't want to wear it every single day and force myself to use it because it doesn't give me the exact look that I want to go for. So I'm using it whenever I feel like using it, but I don't want to force myself to too much. I just came out of a uh, Panda palette that I stopped because I didn't like my looks anymore. So I don't want to force myself too much with eyeshadows um, for the rest of the year. Uh, the other item that I've used a bit of, like honestly, the reason that I haven't changed my marking on that one yet is because like I am not stirring it that way so that the product actually doesn't settle. But I must be a little bit lower than my marking um, for, from the last month. I was at that marking right there. I'm guessing that I must be like a few inches low, like not a few inches, but like maybe half an inch lower than that marking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it flat on my counter for the next like day and I'm going to mark it so that in the next update we actually do have a marking for this month. Um, but right now there is no, like I cannot, I cannot tell you guys where the marking is because it, it wasn't laying that way, it was laying that way. Okay, then um, another item that I cannot tell the progress on at all is my NARS uh, eyeshadow primer. This is a um, opaque container. So there's really no way for me to tell like where I'm at with this product. Um, there is still consistent product coming out of it, so I don't know if I will be done within the next two months. I've been using this for about a year. I really like that eyeshadow primer, and I really don't have a clue how much I have left in it. Um, my lip ter Ultra Lip Therapy by First Aid Beauty. I haven't really used that one in the last month, to be quite honest with you guys. My last marking was there, and honestly, I must have. It must pretty much be yes, that same marking because I must have used it like four or five times in the last month. I'm focusing on another lip balm in another project, and I'm really neglecting that one. So I don't know that it will be done in the next two months. And I don't really mind because it's actually a formula that I enjoy and I don't mind keeping that one for a little bit longer. Um, one item that I just started using this morning because I had uh, a little bit left in another face wash that I was using is my Clown Glow Thirsty Cleanse Daily Hydrating Cleanser. So you're not going to be able to tell any progress because I've only used it once. But I'm really confident that in the next update I should actually be at least halfway done with that one. Um, because I have started using it today and it will be my morning cleanser for um, the weeks to come because this is my um, only other uh, morning type cleanser. 
Um, then the two other items that I cannot show in progress on are my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I made a marking right there when I started it. I am using this every single day to set my under eye and when I shake it down it is still it still looks like it's at, at that same marking. So it's not because I'm not using it, I am using it, but it doesn't go seem to be going down uh, really fast. So I don't know if it's just I don't know why it doesn't so I don't see any progress because as I mentioned I'm using it really consistently but it is um, not, it doesn't seem to be moving. Um, the last one, which is a little bit the same principle as the Aure Glass uh, Mineral Veil, is my uh, Naked Skin Concealer. I can see through uh, little peaks of it, but I have no clue where my progress actually is at because I'm laying it flat most of the time. Um, I'm going to actually leave it that way until tomorrow morning and hopefully it's going to, set, to settle down at the bottom a little bit and I'm going to be able to do marking because I know that it's starting to have less product in it because I can kind of see through little spots and it doesn't look as opaque as it once was but I have really no clue where I'm at on this project, on this product. So that brings me to having to select three more items for this. So I'm gonna put you guys on hold. I'm gonna go onto the computer and randomize with uh, random.org three new numbers and see what they um, what they mean. And I'm gonna get back to you right afterwards. Okay, so I just got back from selecting uh, from getting the numbers. Um, I had to draw more than three numbers just because there were a few of them that were that I got repeats. Uh, so I first draw number 16, which is a new item in your collection. I already had that. Um, I know that I did finish the product, but I still ha I really haven't purchased anything new since I started this project. So I am going to skip that category for that reason. Then I had number 38, which was a tart item, and I finished the only tart item that I actually had. Um, pretty much the only tart item that I actually had um, in. Um, last month, during last month, because I already had picked that category. So that gets me to number 8, which is my oldest product. Um, then I got number 1, which is item of your choice, and I already had an item of my choice. I feel like it's kind of cheating to get it again. Um, then I had drugstore, and I already had the category drugstore. Um, then I got number nine, which is which was a perfume. I already got that category, but there's actually one perfume that I would like to pan, so I'm gonna still pick that category. And then finally, I got number six, which is an eye-end item. So I'm uh, no, sorry, I got number forty-six, was which is a highlighter. I am going to check to see if I have any highlighter that I can actually work on for the next uh, two months. If I don't, then I'm going to go into number six, which was the next one that I got, which is an and item. So I'm going to go and pick up these three items. So a um, my oldest item, a perfume, and then either a highlighter or a high-end product if I don't find any highlighter, and I'm going to get back to you guys. Okay, so I finally did pick the three new items up. So for the perfume that was easy, that is going to be my Ralph Lauren Hot Perfume. It wasn't a project pan at the beginning of the year, but it was also around the time that I got pregnant and I couldn't spare, I couldn't bear the sense of any perfumes at all. So I am going to be starting at that mark over here um, and that's how much I have left. I am also working on another other perfume in another project, but that project ends in 21 days and uh, I actually think that I will be able to finish that perfume and then move on to that one and still have the time to finish it. So fingers crossed on that. I am going to try to work on that one as well. Um, then the other item was the oldest item in my collection. It was again another product that was also in a project at the beginning of the year and it's my Lise Watier uh, Velour Eyeshadow. Um, I, it was in my Panda palette um, that I started this year and that I quit it on. Um, but I think that this eyeshadow I can actually manage to finish or to use a lot of it up during the year and I know that in my one month one palettes for this month I had very very good um, crease shades but I know that for the next month's palette I don't have that much amazing crease shades so I'm going to put that one and it's going to be able to work with the actual palette that we'll be using so that is going to be that item 
And then um, I know that I was supposed to technically pick an item that was either an IN item or a um, highlighter, but I went through and through my collection. And in terms of eye highlighters, I have like four and they are all pretty much brand new. And there's no way that I'm even going to make a dip in one of them. And I don't want to like force myself to use one. I don't use highlighter like every single day super steady. And it was not one item that I wanted to put in this project uh, at all. And the other for the IN category, I looked and looked and I couldn't really find anything. So I'm going to partially cheat and still consider that item as a IN item. Um, this is the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. This is where I'm at on this one. I'm like halfway through this one. And it's not my favorite face oil. There is another one that I really much prefer to remove my makeup. So I am going to put it in here to make sure that I use it up completely and then uh, put it in my back to MAC bag. Uh, pile. So this is going to be my high-end item, if you will. So these are the three items that I'm adding in to this project. So, so far I have five items done out of the 13 that I want to finish before Halloween. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.